I actively tried to do is to find people who would replace from a business perspective a co-founder's role. So I had Alex um, as a partner and advisor who would basically come in and try to see the gaps that were happening. So he was kind of a hands-on advisor and he would spend almost half of his day at the office just looking and observing and talking to me and doing working sessions. And uh, he was able to identify a lot of the gaps that we had and point me in the right direction. And then Lauren was very much the co-founder support of like, the first thing he did, for example, was call the board to ask to raise my salary. And then he would push me almost obliged me to go on vacation, but also I was able to confide in him in on business terms, um, you know, when it came to the startup. So in some ways you took the role of co-founder that's often done. And you had multiple it. people yes. doing, doing parts of it. Yes, the only caveat to this is that you can never go to one of these people and say, hey, I'm thinking of quitting. Because at the end of the day, you've hired these people and these people's incentive is attached to their compensation in the company and they can leave at any time because they don't have the same commitment mm -hmm. of a co-founder. 